Hey, it's Scott Rockfile back with another podcast review for you. Going to talk about the 2023 film Silent Night. And no, this isn't the horror movie. Wasn't there a horror movie called Silent Night? No, this is the new John Woo movie. Yes, I finally got to see it. Now, the MacGuffin of the movie is it has almost no dialogue in the movie. That's why it's called Silent Night. It also takes place on Christmas Eve and a year later at Christmas Eve. So you can put all that together. Joel Kinnaman plays a father who goes through the worst thing possible. Gang violence blends into his yard and his son dies. So he tries everything in his world to try and get everything back on track, and he can't. So he decides to embark on a training regime to take out the bad guys. Sound familiar? Yes, we've seen this revenge movie several times. But, again, you have John Woo directing, and you have the MacGuffin that there's no dialogue. Well, there's a little bit. There's radios, there's background conversations, some characters do talk a little bit. But most of it's Joel Kinnaman, and the pain and anguish and everything he's going through written on his face and in his eyes. It's pretty amazing acting, actually. It's not going to be a terribly long review because... It, it, if it doesn't sound like your cup of tea, you could check out right now. This movie is very grounded and very realistic. It sounds like a John Wick type movie, and the producers are the same as John Wick. But it's a more grounded tale. He is definitely not a superhero. He takes damage. He gets hurt. It's not the easiest thing for him to accomplish all of this. It's, yeah, it's definitely not John Wick. But you've got John Woo directing, so the action beats are pretty impressive. From car crashes that are instantly in slow motion and just absolutely gorgeous to look at, to running and gunning, to your typical John Woo stuff. Now, I didn't see any doves flying up, but there was a bird in the movie. (laughs) So he resisted having the doves fly up behind somebody. But all in all, you could tell that a really good action director was directing because otherwise it would have devolved in some kind of B-movie straight-to-video kind of thing. He doesn't elevate it so it's heightened like a John Wick, like it's a comic book movie. He just... He does... He films the action very realistically for a John Woo film. Yes, there's some slow-mo and there's some people jumping over things, but for the most part, there's nothing super heroic in the film. One beat leads to another. You know what he's going to do, but there are some few surprises in it. All in all, when it was over, I was satisfied. It's fairly downbeat. It doesn't have a whole lot of any comedy in it. It's fairly short. It's an hour and 40 minutes, Um, and it's well-made. If it sounds like your cup of tea, I think this should have done better. It's John Woo returning to action. It's I, I'm when you mention his name, you expect something that's just awe inspiring. He made a real movie, you know. He made a real action movie, a well made action movie. And I enjoyed it for what it was. It ends, there's probably not gonna be a sequel, it doesn't leave any dangling threads, it has a solid ending to it, and all in all the story comes all the way around and it finishes up well. I thought it was very entertaining. Now, it's available on Blu-ray everywhere, but the only way to get the 4K was to buy the Steelbook, which is a Lionsgate exclusive with Walmart, that was sold out before it actually went on sale. Yeah, if this sounds like something I talked about Best Buy did in the past, they have. Now, Best Buy, this is my first major movie in 4K, one of those limited edition Lionsgate Steelbooks that came from Walmart, not Best Buy. Because Best Buy is getting out of the business. If you go right now, a lot of their stuff is on sale and they're getting rid of all their movies. I think they're down to like 100 4K steelbooks. They used to have 350. But I pre-ordered mine because, well, I pre-ordered something else and the two of them gave me free shipping. And I didn't know how my local Walmart, how they would do with this. This is the first time this has happened. Now, Walmart does have a lot of exclusive steelbooks, but this is the first one that was really probably going to be a Best Buy one that Walmart got. Well, I was tracking it online, and every time I went to track it, I went to look to see how it was selling. Well, from the day, this past Tuesday, when it went on sale, it's been out of print. You can't buy it at any Walmart, not in a store. You can't have it shipped, nothing. It's, it's just not been available at all. Walmart did that, or uh, Best Buy did that once or twice with movies, but eventually a week or two later they would find copies and they would go on sale. That happened with like John Wick 4 last year. It was completely sold out the day it went on sale, but a few days later they found a few and they put them back up and I fortunately got one. I didn't pre-order that and I learned my lesson. 
So anyway, I did pre-order this, and it's been out of print. I've checked for the next week, and so far, Walmart hasn't had any of them. My local Walmart didn't even have a shelf for it. They didn't have a position in their end cap. They had plenty of the Blu-ray, but none of the 4Ks. So if you're like me and a collector who really wanted the 4K, you're probably not real happy with Lionsgate right now, because if you didn't pre-order it, you didn't get one. And there's no other way to get the movie in 4K except on streaming. It's a solid 4K, too. Looks and sounds great. Dolby Atmos, great soundtrack. Uh, it looked like a native 4K, but it also looked like a film, you know, which which I really liked. It didn't look like it was digital. It didn't look like it was too clean, that soap opera effect. It looked very much like a film, like a John Woo film. And his directing was top notch. I mean, it's a simple story, well told. And as you have heard in my podcast before, that's all I really expect out of a movie. It doesn't have to be the greatest movie I've ever seen. I just have to be entertained. And I was, and this is actually one I would watch again. It's not exactly uplifting, happy, or positive at the end, but it's logical. And it ends not straining credibility or making me go, really? It actually went, okay, well, yeah, it's a good story well told. And I hope John Wick does more. I hope, or John Woo, John Wick, John Woo. John Woo was one of my earliest action directors that I, I truly really got into when I got into foreign cinema. The Killer, Hard Boiled, these are still movies I will pull out and watch. I absolutely love those films. And his American movies were fine, too. I mean, Face Off just came out in 4K. I need a copy of that and do a review of that. I am a big John Woo fan. But I have watched some of his Asian output since he left Hollywood over the last few years. Some of them made it on Netflix, and they were just okay. But for one reason or another, low budget, not the best script in the world, whatever. Not him making American movies, so... Silent Night was his first chance to make an American action movie in quite a few years. I didn't think it was too bad. I actually enjoyed it. Glad it's in my collection. It's a nice Lionsgate steel book, and it'll sit on the shelf until I'm ready to pull that out again. May might become a regular Christmas movie like Die Hard. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was fine. So to tell you a little bit more about the story, it was just ridiculous the way that uh, all of this is happening with our home media that Best Buy is getting completely out of it, Walmart's doubling down on it, and you're going to have to pre-order things if you want them, I guess, unless they increase the number of copies. I think it's interesting that Walmart is going doubling down on media, home media, because they were kind of getting out of it like everybody else. And now, if you look on the Walmart website, for all of February and March, there's a whole bunch of exclusive steelbooks coming. A lot of them big, like the new Disney Marvels, the, the new Wonka. Some of those are some pretty big, and Amazon didn't get them, and Best Buy's not doing it anymore, so Walmart's the place. But Silent Night from John Woo, not his best movie, but certainly not his worst, and it was definitely entertaining. So check it out if it's uh, you know something that sounds like it'd be you would be into it, but good luck in finding that 4K. You're probably going to have to go on the secondary market on eBay and pay way too much for it. I might start buying buying two of these exclusives every time if it's going to be like this. Silent Night, it's not bad. It's John Woo, back to form. I'm Scott, I'm Rockfile. Another podcast in the can. Thank you for listening and have a spectacular day.